So I have Saeed Adekwaju here, uh, who's a co-founder CEO of Encipher Group. And he's got the Inye 2 tablet here, and he's going to be demoing it for us very quickly for Techloy. So Saeed, um, finally, we now get a hands-on on the yes, Inye tablet. Finally. Right, so can you um, show us uh, a bit of how it works? Okay, so what we have here is it's an 8-inch screen <coughs> um, tablet PC, runs Android. Um, a view of the ports, you have a USB port that allows you to connect regular USB um, to it. You have um, a HDMI port, you have a micro USB that allows you to mount uh, the device like um, a flash drive. You have um, SD card slot to allow you to expand up to 32 gig. And you have a, a SIM card slot right over here to allow you, allows you to put in a regular SIM card at the back there. You have the standard um, logo for, for behind. This is a black complimentary copy. This is my own personal copy. Um, what we have here is a capacitive screen, you know, a five point capacitive screen. I have access to all the apps. Um, I have pre installed some particular applications on here. You have the standard Angry Birds that everybody usually tends to um, put in nowadays. Right. But what you get on this, you get at least five hours of battery um, on Wi Fi uh, if you're using Wi Fi to browse. And also, five hours on usage of movies. This is based on uh, tests that we've done. So, you would get at least five hours on that. Right. Um, uh, particular applications that we would like to show um, there is this particular um, customized built. Um, Android application that allows you to load your credit. One of the things you would notice with uh, most other tablets is the fact that you'd have to pull out a SIM card right. and, and put it in a phone to load a data plan in this part of the world, that is. Okay. Uh, most other part of the world give you contract, um, a contract-based kind of um, data plan that right. auto-renews every month. Mm -hmm. uh, but on here, you have different ones. You have the MTN, so it allows you to Pick what bundle you want, load the credits onto the SIM. Um, also, you have for all the other networks. So, uh, we're not going to force you to use a particular network. So, whatever network you use is fine. And after you do that, you would configure this as you would uh, any regular Android tablet to, to browse. Um, right. So, uh, so when you uh, want to get the credit, it takes uh, it takes money off your credit card, uh, uh, rather your your account. Yes, it takes your MTN account. Your 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 phone account. Your phone you, account. You, okay. You load you load credit onto okay. the phone and, and takes it off. Um, is that the only option to pay? Um, well, that that is the. That is a standard way most users okay. do it because okay. they usually pull out the SIM card and put it in a phone and then load. But this now is done from the tablet. From the tablet, directly. so you, you don't have to you don't have to pull it out right. and, okay. and things like that. Okay. Um, other kind of applications you can get you can get from the uh, from the Play Store. Uh, the Play Store gives you access to. Well, I probably need to enable this. The Play Store gives you access to. Uh, it's not connection. Gives you access to um, all other um, third party applications. Uh, particular interest for me is Flipboard. I uh, particularly use this to get access to um, all my social media feeds. So this 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 is pretty um, a nice way of keeping track of all your social media feeds. Right. This, this is quite um, handy. Um, other applications around here are locally developed apps. Um, one of them is. Um, there is a redeemed application that allows you to um, do a lot of things, prayers, listen to sermons, the history of the church, and um, takes you home. Um, also, what you have is we, ha we have some untested ones uh, like math practice that allows you to do um, practice and you know practice different uh, math. Options. So these apps are uh, developed locally. Yeah? Developed locally, yes, okay. uh, by, by by developers. Um, so how many local apps would uh, users get when they buy an Inye two? Uh, we are still talking to different developers right now. We want to put on Spinlet on there because okay. of its growing popularity. Right. We're also considering um, other game developers that are currently building games. And we are speaking to CC Hub, okay, um, as one of the partners to pre-bundle applications from them um, onto the tablet. Right, and so uh, you did mention earlier that most of the apps off the CC Hub are 
uh, BlackBerry and Nokia apps. So, are there any focus on Android apps? Uh, there is, think? there is, there are interests on Android. At least they know about Android. But okay. um, I believe because BlackBerry and Nokia have a very strong um, partnership with them, and they're able to harness um, the ecosystem in that direction. Right. Uh, so that that is probably why I believe they'll be building for 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 that for that ecosystem. Right. So just lastly, um, obviously the Inya 2 has been launched a couple of months ago, yeah. but hasn't been commercial at the moment. Yeah. When will this eventually come out? Like when will we... Uh, we are speaking to investors right now. There's a lot of interest on that. Um, there is a... The, strict, the, the time frame keeps adjusting because of the nature of raising funds. Right. Um, we are hoping that we can conclude this month and then the process for when we would get some initial shipments uh, can commence. Okay. Uh, but once we have it, we will definitely let Tech Lawyer know um, and then we can take it up from there. All right. All right, Say, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.